For more on this story, let's go to Delhi. Sarav Jha is chief editor for Delhi Defense Review. Thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. Thank you for having me here. Uh, Thank you for, I'm glad to be here. Let, let's pick up on the last point we saw in, in that report. Your thoughts on François Hollande's statements and the motivation for his accusations? So, well, I think he said that he was left with no, that they were left with no choice as far as the selection of an offset partner was concerned. I think that has really uh, sort of set the cat among the pigeons. But, you know, as far as official policy is concerned, they, it, it's only Dassault who, get, who will get to choose the offset partner, not anybody else. And that is why both uh, the government here in Delhi and in, Fra and in Paris have denied having any say in that. And as far as the motivations are concerned, well, you know, there's been this talk of uh, the billionaire businessman Anil Ambani having actually sponsored a film for Olin's uh, current partner. So, yeah, so, you know, that, that's what that's what that's the talk over here in Delhi about what the motivations are for Olin to say what he did. But Olin's, you know, Olin's remarks have definitely created a stir. There's no doubt about that. Anil Ambani, a, a controversial figure, he's hardly got a Midas touch. Uh, I see that um, he's had little success uh, in the telecom sector and zero experience in the aviation industry. Unfortunately, that is correct. And that is exact, precisely what, and that is what is providing ammunition to the detractors of his, uh, you know, of his selection as an offset partner. Given his zero experience in, uh, uh, you know, aerospace manufacturing, so uh, but but like I said, the, the offset policy in India says that it is the OEM, the foreign original equipment maker or the vendor, who gets to choose the offset partner. It's not the government of India which chooses the offset partner for the said OEM. You know, so that that's absolutely right. But uh, Dassault had said in a statement that they chose. Uh, you know, Anil Ambani, and because the site he offered was close to uh, an existing runway and also was came cheap and, you know, was part of the... There's a small aerospace ecosystem in central India around Nagpur. And that is where the site is for the Dassault, uh, you know, Anil Ambani Reliance Group JV. So so that was, that was, the, that was Dassault's, uh, you know, sort of explanation for choosing Anil Ambani as a partner. Uh, is this anything new, Sarav Jha? Uh, kickbacks and uh, favoritism when it comes to huge defense contracts where there's many zeros uh, after the sum? You know, I, I sort of said this earlier that unfortunately this is a rather old story. But the thing is that the Indian, any, in fact, the defense procurement process is very complicated. It's a multi-step process, and it's not going to get any less complicated because of its very nature. And because of competing industrial interests, you know, since there is a, there's an overall lack of transparency about the way these things are done, and, the, and that leads to competing industrial interests sort of taking a shot at each other in the process. And that's what you see every time, you know. And I'm not talking about deals way back in the 80s, but of late in recent times. It's, no. it's, this is a deal which sort of leads to allegations of kickbacks, but there are many which just don't go forward at all. You know, it's a, it's a very, very standard story over here. And the government standing by the deal saying, that, you know, that it's going ahead. Is there any doubt, though? Well, I, I don't think there is much doubt because, you know, the Indian Air Force does need the Rafale. They have said so themselves. And uh, the, the sort of rafale that the Indian Air Force is getting does have a number of enhancements, which has added to the cost of the deal. So, uh, and, and it is true that the Indian Air Force does need the plane at this, at this juncture. So I would say that the deal would probably go through, and, but the political charges will fly thick and fast. <laughs> and all in statement has definitely stirred the pot, as it were, you know. And it stirred the pot in the run-up to uh, next year's general election, the last time around Narendra Modi uh, winning Press. handily. Will this weigh on his campaign? It might. It might. Because, you know, already the BJP, the ruling BJP, that is the Prime Minister's party, 
it is already talking about going to the people to explain their position and to bring to them the facts about the case as it were so obviously they do think that it is going to be a talking point in the course of the in the run up to the general elections next year so yeah it might it might Sarav Jha of Delhi Defense Review, many thanks for speaking with us from uh, the Indian capital.